Welcome to my channel. Today I put a poll up on my Twitter asking what type of look I should do and the winner of the poll was spin wheel again so we're going to do that. I'm going to give it a spin. Give me yellow. And blue so we're gonna be doing a yellow and blue look today okay so for the blue and yellow look I decided to use the Natasha Denona tropics palette so we're gonna it's got some blues and it's got a really cool yellow right there I also pulled out my uh, subculture palette just in case I want to use the gold in there but we're gonna try with this first I've already primed and set my eyeshadow primer I'm gonna go in with a Smith 247 brush and I'm going to take the shade Pastel Melon which is this one right here and I'm just going to buff it into my socket line. This is just going to create a nice seamless transition when we're doing a cool color into warmer skin tones. Just right above my socket line. I'm just going to do that on the other side. Alright. I'm going to take a Smith 230 brush and I'm going to take the shade Laguna, which is this bright blue, and I'm just going to kind of work it in my crease through my socket and kind of mostly all over the lid. This is a nice color. I'm just going to take it right all over my lid. Um, I like this palette. The only concern I have is that it's got like hella fallout. So we're going to clean that up as we go. And I'm just kind of buffing it around. Um, I'm going to take my makeup wipe and I'm going to just go right in the inner corner here, kind of go underneath and shape the outside edge of my eye, eye makeup. See? Picking up the fallout. And I'm just going to pack that color in on the other side too. So now I'm going to go back with that first shade, the Pastel Melon. I'm just going to kind of buff out the edges just a tiny bit. So you can see that. I'm going to go out then with the wipe and clean up the fallout. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a Luxie small tapered blending brush, 231, and I'm going to dip into this shade Coco, and I'm going to use it, it's this brown shade here, I'm just dip it in, and I'm going to start working my outer corner so it's a little deeper. I'm just going to kind of work it in there, just kind of buffing it out. I'm just going to do it on the other side. 
I'm just going to kind of work it towards the middle of the crease, but keeping it mostly concentrated on the outer edge. I'm going to go back in with that Laguna shade, and I'm just going to go over that so it's a nice dark blue. So we're looking a little crazy again. I like to clean up as I go so I can get an idea of the whole look and not just like everything underneath. So now I'm gonna go in with a small brush. I'm going to take my Wayne Goss 20 brush, it's a little tiny one, and I'm going to take this shade right here called Tiger Lily, it's this dark blue, and I'm just going to load up my brush. It is a shimmery shade, but that's okay. And I'm just going to go on the outer corner, and I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to go on the inner corner. And then I'm just going to kind of connect the two, leaving a space in the middle. I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to do that to the other side. If you go a little bit too far in the middle, that's okay. We're going to fix that as we go. I'm going to go back into the, uh, the light blue shade, Laguna, and I'm just going to kind of go over the middle so it's nice and blended. We're kind of creating this halo eye, and we're going to stick that yellow kind of right down that middle. I'm going to clean it up. This is why I do my eye makeup before my foundation, because I can always just go in with a wipe and wipe away things. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little brush. This is a it's a flat shader brush, but it's a uh, it's a paintbrush. It's not necessarily a makeup brush. But it has synthetic bristles, so it can have cream on it. And I'm going to take some of my NYX Glitter Primer. I'm going to pump it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to pick some up with my brush. And I'm going to go right down the center of the lid up towards the crease, kind of cutting it and bringing it down. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And this is just going to give our shimmers something sticky to stick to. So I'm going to take my Smith uh, 253 brush, it's a nice packed tapered brush, and I'm going to dip into the shade Limoncello, which is this bright yellow, and I'm going to go right where I applied that glitter primer. I'm just going to pack it on. I'm going to go down the center of the lid first and then kind of pat to the sides. I'm just going to do this on the other side. I'm 
I'm just gonna kind of reinforce it on the other eye. So now I'm gonna go in with my wipe, kind of wipe away the glitter. And I'm gonna take that dark blue shade again and I'm just gonna kind of go and tap it on the edges of where that gold is to give it a nice blend. And I'm gonna go in with the light blue shade Laguna and just kind of get the edge towards the top and buff it out. So I'm feeling like the yellow kind of lost some of its shimmer. I'm just gonna go back in right down the middle. And that's what we have so far. I'm going to do a wipe. And then I'm going to take a little Real Techniques detail brush. And I'm going to dip into the shade Mint Frost, which is this one right here. And I'm going to just take a tiny bit and take it in on my inner corner. I'm going to do it on the other side. So that's where that's at for now. I'm going to grab a black eyeliner. I'm just going to line my eyes uh, along the lash line and we'll come back and do the face. Okay, so I'm going to do the face. I'm going to start by priming with my Makeup Forever Nourishing Primer. I'm just going to squirt a little bit on my finger and kind of blend it into my face. All right. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Poreless Primer, Putty Primer. I'm just gonna rub my finger in there and get some for my cheeks just to kind of fill in some pores and smooth everything out. And I'm gonna take it on my nose. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Hollywood Flawless Filter for Superstar Youth Glow. And I'm just going to kind of get it on my high points of my cheeks, on my nose, forehead, Cupid's bow, and chin. I'm going to take my sponge and just kind of buff it in. Now I'm going to take my Fenty uh, matchstick in amber and just right from the top of my ear down and I'm going to take my sponge and blend it in. So I'm now going to take my concealer. This is the ColourPop Hello oh, Pretty Fresh in Fair 07C. And I'm just going to dot a couple dots underneath my eyes. And I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to go in and blend it.
All right, so now that I got like my base before my foundation done, I'm going to get my foundation on. I'm going to use the White Change Maker Foundation in L10. And I'm just going to squeeze a little out. And then I'm going to dot it on my face. And I'm just going to kind of blend it in. I'm going to grab just a tiny bit more for my cheeks. And my nose. And by tiny I mean like a lot apparently. So I'm just going to Blend that in. So then I'm just going to kind of buff it in down my neck ears just kind of a few taps on the nose um, I'm going to take my palette before I set everything and I'm going to take a tiny uh, smudger brush from Royal and Line Nicker nickel and I'm gonna go right in on that light blue shade and I'm just gonna go underneath my eye I'm doing this before I set my eyeshadow so that if I need to, I can wipe away with my beauty blender and kind of erase any fallout. Now I'm going to go in with the pastel melon shade and just kind of buff that blue out and go around my eyeshadow so that it's all one seamless transition. And I did get a little bit of fallout right here, so I'm just going to tap it away. And I'm going to do it on the other side. So that's the eyes for now. I'm going to do some mascara in a second. Um, I'm going to set my face with Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. And I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. Just a tiny dusting of powder to kind of affix everything into place. So I've got that on. I'm going to go in and do my bronzer and blush next. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker in In the Sun. 
and I'm just gonna pop it open. I'm gonna take a dual fiber brush, I'll load up my brush, and go on underneath in the hollows of my cheeks. And then I'm gonna go up the side of my face, get the other side. Up the side of my face, and then I'm just gonna get my forehead. For blush, I'm going to take my Smith 118 blush brush and I'm going to take Hourglass Diffuse Heat. I'm just going to take some on my blush brush and get the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to take a little bit across my nose. And then for highlighter, I'm going to take Urban Decay's Afterglow Highlighter in the shade Sin. And I'm going to take just a highlighting brush from Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to hit the, apple, or the high points of my cheeks around my eye. I'm going to go down my nose and on my cupid's bow. I'm going to take my powder brush and I'm just going to kind of blend the cheeks together so that it's one seamless look. All right, so now I'm going to take some Fix Plus and I'm just gonna spritz my face. And I'm gonna take side of my sponge and I'm just gonna press it into my skin just to get everything pressed in. So the next thing I'm going to I'm going to go in with a spoolie and just kind of brush out any product that's in my brows that I don't want there. I'm going to take a thin angled brush. This one's from Royal Lang Nickel. And I'm going to take my brow powder in medium brown and just run through my brows real quick. I'm basically just filling in any gaps in my brows with this powder. Just kind of making them look really nice. And then I'm going to do the other side. Give myself a tail. I got that done I'm gonna take a spoolie run through kind of buff out that extra powder and I'm gonna take a clear brow gel and run it through my brows And those are my brows. I'm going to curl my lashes and put some mascara on um, off camera and we'll come back and do the lips. Okay, so I uh, just curled my lashes, put some mascara on. If you wanted to put some fake lashes on, that'd be cool, but I gotta put my glasses on after this and that's kind of difficult. So for lips, I've chosen NARS Audacious Lipstick in Audrey. Yeah, see me. 
And then I'm going to top it with Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. And it's going to go through my hair a little bit. This is the finished look. Uh, if you wanted to go with a lighter lip, you could, but I thought this would be kind of nice and dramatic. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you want to check me out online, you can check me out at fieldmymakeup dot or at fieldmymakeup on Instagram, fieldmymakeup.us, and at my personal Twitter at Cassie M O I S E R uh, on Twitter. Um, if you like this, give this a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button, maybe hit the little bell so you can see when I get noti when I upload and get notifications for that. Um, but this is the look. Thanks for watching.